Hi, good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you the lens and we will discuss its every part and its function. And now we proceed. Now we will begin to the filter thread, this one. And the function of filter thread is a threaded section inside the front of lens to allow accessories such as filters and lens hoods to be attached. And the second one is the focusing ring. This is the section of the lens that rotates to allow the photographer to focus the image on automatic cameras. The ring is moved by a small motor within the lens whenever you press the shutter release button half fade down. And third is the zoom ring. Zoom rings enable motorized zoom that allows you to change the focal length in real time as you should. A 4x zoom lens, for example, will, it will enlarge or reduce the subject in the image by 4 times depending on which way it zoom. And fourth is the lens specification markings. The first number of pair of numbers indicates the range of available focal lengths in millimeters. From this, you can tell what angles of view the particular, the particular lens can handle. Lower numbers means a wider angle. And fifth is the, is the distance indicator. This one. Um, the distance indicator, it shows how far away the lens has focused from the nearer, nearest to farthest. It can be useful when you know a fixed distance that you manually want to focus on or if you want to know where the lens is focused within its range such a for close up photography. And next is the depth of field indicators. This one and this part is the depth of field indicators. It is the primary object of the inventions therefore to provide a camera having a focusing lens system and an automatic exposure control system with a depth of field indicator that indicates the depth of field as a function of both scene brightness and scene or object distance and the aper aperture ring the aperture ring among the camera lens parts lets you adjust the size of the aperture. The last value on the ring indicates the smallest aperture possible on your camera. By adjusting the aperture ring, you are able to control the level of, of light that is being exposed to your film or image sensor. And the, le the lens mount. The lens mount is a standard or proprietary interface used by camera and lens manufacturers to ensure a secure and accurate means for attaching a lens to a camera body. And lastly, the lens base stabilization or what we call image stabiliz stabilization control uses a floating lens element which is electronically controlled and shifted opposite to any camera shake recorded by the camera in camera system works similarly but will physically shift the image sensor to compensate for these movements and i hope you understand and thank you for listening that's all